Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk for a couple minutes about the future of my channel. Now, up to this point I've done primarily theory videos, which is something I still plan to do going forward, but I think the time has come to start producing a wider range of content, uh, and really some more original content. Uh, I have a lot of things in mind, but for one, I plan to do some recut movie trailers, kind of similar to my theory intros, but actual trailers. I will also be reviewing some of my favorite movies from time to time. And I, I would also like to make a couple more videos using my Jimmy Stewart impression. But uh, the biggest addition I want to bring to my channel is the narrating of my own original short stories. Now, I really like creepypastas, but I don't want my channel to become a creepypasta channel. Now, nothing against those guys. You know, they're great. But uh, what I really like about their channels is that their content is so easy to binge watch or, or really binge listen. And that's, uh, that's what I want for my channel. I mean, sometimes you just need something to listen to, but you can't always free your eyes to watch a video. And, and that's what I like about audiobook style videos so much. A big reason I made this channel was to get a creative outlet for my writing. The kind of stories that interest me are of the darker sci-fi variety, which is probably pretty obvious if you've seen any of my other videos. But uh, I find I'm also interested in writing stories that are sort of more positive, you know, deep, and thought-provoking, soulful, man's place in the universe kind of stuff. It's kind of a strange blend, but if you've seen my Terry's Flower fanfiction video, you probably understand the kind of balance I'm going for. And this is not to say that every one of my stories will be a perfect blend of light and dark, you know, every story will be different. Now there will be a little bit of a feeling out period, I realize I have a lot of younger subscribers and I, I don't want to patronize you, you know, when I was younger nothing was too dark for me, but everyone's tolerance is different. and. Uh, I, I just want to say that I, I don't want to make anyone's stomach turn. I'm I'm not interested in that. I've heard some creepy pastas that were just gore for the sake of gore, and and I, I find those stories are just not enjoyable to listen to, and, and those aren't the kind of stories I'll be writing. But don't get me wrong, I, I will be writing some very strange stuff occasionally. But I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of uh, how far is too far. I'm very interested in paranormal stuff like ghosts and monsters, I'm also incredibly fascinated by stories that deal with the hidden power of the human mind, and that's probably a big reason why I like Stranger Things so much. And I think there's something so fascinating about a no-nonsense skeptic being confronted by things he can't explain. It's just, it's a really nice kind of 180 they're forced to pull. I also love time travel. I'm actually writing a time travel novel right now, which I plan to make into a three book series. but. It seems like because of the nature of today's ADD society, I'm, I'm much better suited to write short stories because I can finish them in one sitting, and I, and I like that. I like that feeling like I'm actually accomplishing things, getting things done in one sitting. It's, it's just great. Now The plan is to upload a good assortment of my short stories uh, to YouTube and then take the best of them and stick them in a book with a, with a few book-exclusive stories and then publish them. If people really start to like them, I will just keep going, hopefully one day reaching three or four volumes of short storybooks, in addition to quite a few novels. I will always keep making videos, though. There is a big part of me that wants to be a filmmaker, and I, I really enjoy finding the right music to match with narration. It, it really helps set the scene, and it's, it's the kind of thing you just can't accomplish with books alone. And because of that, my books and my videos will probably always go hand in hand. Now remember, I will still be making theory videos. I would never just abandon people who subscribe to me because they like my theories. Now I just recorded my first short story and I will be uploading it uh, soon after this video and I, I have to say this story may be the best thing I've ever written so I, I hope you enjoy it. I, I recorded a second story too at, at the same time and it's they're, they're both very different so I, I hope to finish them right around the same time and, and upload them close to each other so you can kind of get a nice range of the content I'm gonna I'm gonna upload when it comes to my stories. But uh, my first short story is called Beyond the Streetlights End, and it is completely finished. It's ready to go. So I will be uploading that within the hour. I'll link it here at the end of the video. So uh, I would appreciate it if you check that out. Let me know what you think. I'm <laughs> really nervous. I, I hope you like it. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.